Welcome back to Squawk Box. I'm Frank Holland. Today we're releasing the results of our Q2 CFO survey. We asked the corporate financial decision makers from the biggest companies what sector they believe will see the biggest growth in the second half of 2024. You can see right here, technology was the top answer. They believe that will continue to show leadership. Tied for second, consumer staples and energy. Speaking of the consumer, we also asked these corporate financial decision makers what's the biggest external risk to their business. You see it right here. 54% telling us that their biggest concern, their biggest external risk is consumer spending, followed by overregulation and then Fed policy. That read on consumer demand, that's the highest read since Q1 of 2023. So this Q2 CFO survey was taken between June 3rd and June the 20th. During that time, a lot of things happened, of course. We had a Fed meeting where rates were unchanged, but the cutout look was actually lowered. We also had a CPI report that was better than expected, and we saw the S&P 500. It topped 5,500 for the first time ever. It was in this environment that CFOs detailed their plans to focus on acquisitions along with research and development. 21% said that M&A and R&D are their priorities for CapEx spending this year. 17%, as you can see, said building new factories or facilities were their top priority. The majority also telling us that their CapEx spending is expected to stay about the same a quarter, expecting an increase, 17% forecasting a decline in their CapEx spending. Melissa, back over to you. Frank, what are these CFOs saying about the Fed uh, and possible cuts in the second half of the year? You know, Melissa, a lot of optimism about a cut coming this year. We're going to actually show you the chart here. So just about 38 percent believe we're going to get a cut in September. They're very optimistic we're going to get a cut before the election. Um, a large number of them, as you can see, 17 percent believe it would come in November. That would still be after the election. Also, another 17 percent believe it could come in December. But look down here. Twenty nine percent believe that the first Fed rate cut is going to come next year, possibly even later. All right. Frank, thanks. Frank Thank Holland.